So today I am back with another interesting topic. Hope you all will like it. So without any further delay, let's get started. In my previous video of MySQL series, I have given a brief overview about joins in MySQL and how to simply join two tables in MySQL. You can check the video from the above i button. Today, I am going to show how to join three or more tables in MySQL. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Today, I am referring to a database named employee underscore info. Within employee underscore info database, there are three tables named employee, comma, department and manager. Here, in employee table, emp underscore number is primary key. In department table, dept underscore num is primary key and dept underscore name is the foreign key. In manager table, manager underscore id is the primary key and dept underscore num is foreign key. So let the query be to fetch emp underscore number, emp underscore name, emp underscore address, dept underscore name, dept underscore city, dept underscore num and manager underscore name in one table. This can be done in two ways. First, by using joins. In this case, we will select whatever we want to print. First, right select leave spaces for the columns we want to print from employees allies is E, join department which allies is D on that is the common attribute between these two tables. So, on E dot dept underscore name equals to d dot dept underscore name. Then write the columns we want to print. That is, select emp underscore number, emp underscore name, emp underscore address, dept underscore name, dept underscore city, dept underscore num. From employee inner join department d on E dot department underscore name equals to D dot department underscore name. Run the query to see the result. So first we are joining first two tables. Modify the same query. Now we will join third table. So inner join manager allies m d dot dept underscore name equals to m dot dept underscore name. Now 
Add another column manager name in select statement. Run the query to see the result. Second method is parent-child relationship. Again, select leave blank spaces for the required column output from employee, comma, department D, comma, manager M, where e.dept underscore name equals to d.dept underscore name and d.dept underscore name equals to m.dept underscore name semicolon write the required column in select statement run the query to see the result That's all for today. Hope you all will get some help from this video. If it's so, then don't forget to subscribe my channel Code with Neha and press the bell icon for regular updates. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.